Hey, this is James from jameshasanswers.com. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the battery in a CyberPower 1500 PFC LCD UPS. I think mine is dead because when I try to turn it on when it's unplugged, it just beeps. When I plug it in and turn it on, it thinks the battery's full. There's no notification on the screen showing the battery's dead. Yet when I unplug it, it dies. Screen on off. So in this guide, I'm going to show you how to replace the batteries. First thing is to make sure it's unplugged and turned off. Flip it. Now with it on its side, there are two screws you want to remove on the bottom, one and two. They are Phillips head. Now with those screws removed, the front panel will just slide down a bit like that and then you can just pull it away. Note that there are a bunch of cables connected, so don't just rip it off. Gently, just kind of twist it and let it rest on top here so it's out of the way. Now, to remove the batteries, they are two batteries connected together inside. We need to first pull off the battery connector and then pull these tabs to slide the battery out. Now, this connector can be kind of hard to remove, but just give it a bit of force, hold it with the one hand, the batteries, and pull with the other, kind of wiggling it as you're pulling, like so. Now with the plug removed, use these tabs to pull it out. And the battery's now free. So from here you have two options. One is you can buy an official Cyber Power branded battery replacement. Uh, it comes like this, and then you get the new one and you're good to go to the next step. Or you can get some third-party batteries, which are generally half price, uh, like these two Expert Power 12-volt, uh, 9-amp-hour batteries, model EXP1290. I've used these before on other UPS replacements, and they've worked good for me so far, so I'm going to continue using them. Uh, what you need to do, though, is remove the tape from the original battery and this little connecting thing, and you will basically wire these batteries together, reuse this uh, connecting block, the tape, and then you've built your own replacement battery. So if you're going that route, first thing to do is remove this tape that basically holds the two batteries together. You just seal this off all the way around and we are gonna reuse it. So we're gonna put this to the side. Now basically take these two batteries, just kind of prime them apart a bit. They are kind of stuck together with a little double-sided tape here on both sides. You're not going to break it. Might need to get a screwdriver to help pry it apart, like so. Again, it's just double-sided tape, nothing fancy. There we go. These batteries are wired in series, so the negative from this one connects to the positive of this one, and the negative from here goes to the plug, and the positive of the plug goes to the positive of this battery. So the next thing you need to do is remove the spade connectors from both terminals on both batteries. They are kind of wedged on there pretty tight. So you gotta wiggle them as you're pulling them free. That's a little easier to do these top ones first. Like I said, they can be kind of hard to do. So there's one removed. Flip them over. It seems to be easier to kind of pull down on them. So there we go. Be the two batteries now removed, the old ones. Prepared a new one. They may have caps on them here, like this one. Just slide them off. And again, these are wired in series. So I'm going to slide this one back on here. And this one on here. And that's the old battery. This is the new battery. Slide off these protectors. And plug this one here. Just nice and firm all the way in. It may kind of click a bit as you're putting it, as you're doing it. There we go. Make sure it's down as far as it can go. All right. Now kind of sail them back together. And as you can see right now, it's not really wanting to stay together. That's because the cable isn't getting routed in all the plastic where it can kind of fit. So make sure that when you're doing this, that the wires are going in places where they don't get pinched. Now you can see here right now that this isn't lined up right now. 
So it means that the wires are probably getting caught somewhere. So make sure that this is lined up before I try to put the tape back on and putting it back in the case because otherwise it won't fit. So I'm going to lay it back down. Try to kind of visualize why it might not be sitting back in there cleanly. Uh, I can see that one of my spade bit connectors aren't pushed all the way on here. The one in the, the back here, I didn't push it all the way. All right, so once you have the batteries aligned as good as you can, go ahead and stack them up like this and have the connector so the little round parts of the connector are facing down. It's flat on top and round on the bottom inside there. And again, I'm going to try to make it here so these are as flush as possible with the connector. And we are going to get the tape have a little tabs on the right side. Start it about there, and then just wrap it all around. Again, this is kind of just to hold it in place neatly when you're trying to push it in and pull it back out. It doesn't need to be perfect. In fact, it's not technically even really required to have the tape. It's just for ease of putting it in and taking it back out. So now take the UPS, pull the battery connector out of the way. With the battery on the side, go ahead and make sure that the round parts of the connector are facing this way. Make sure you did it right. And as you can see here, the round parts of mine are in line with how the connector fits. Put the battery back in. It may feel like it's stuck in here. If it does, pull it out a bit. Try to put it straight and lift the front up a bit, and then it'll slide in. Take the connector, plug it back in, all the way until you can't anymore. You can go ahead and kind of tuck these tabs behind the wire on the right, and that one just kind of hold it in place like that. Make sure the tabs of the front face on both sides fit in like that slide it up. Last but not least, we got to screw in those two bottom screws here and here. And now we'll turn it back up, plug it back in, and I'll turn it back on. All right, we have it plugged in now. Uh, I'm going to assume it has some charge. It shows it has charge. I'm going to unplug it. Ah, uh, now unlike before, I can see that it has a battery icon here with a battery runtime. It keeps dropping down, presumably because the batteries aren't fully charged yet. I just plugged them in. And there you go. That's how you change the batteries in a CyberPower 1500 PFC LCD UPS.